type in Google standard deviation calculator and it'll have you put a bunch of data points in, you press go and it kicks out the answer. I, they exist and because nothing, because all of our assessments are done outside of class, you have plenty of time to grab whatever you need to use. In class, it's nice that we all have like one kind of modal unit that we can use here, the 83 and the 84. Let me do this now. So here's what I want you guys to do. We're going to familiarize ourselves with the statistical capabilities of this little bad boy. So the first thing you want to do is find the button called stat. Obviously, stat. Okay, so if you turn them on and press the stat button, he's right there, stat button's right above program. Do one thing real quick here. All right, there we go. So stat, when you press the stat button, you now have three headers, edit, calc, and tests. We're going to spend most of our time in edit, a little bit of, I, I lied, most of our time in edit and calc. We're not going to go to tests in this class, that's the only place we spend at 244 is over there. So, and in this particular list, the lion's share of the time we're going to spend is in the edit button, number one. Go ahead and grab number one by either pressing one or pressing enter. Your choice, doesn't matter to me. Now, does anybody have stuff in their lists right now? Like L1's got numbers in it, L2. I'm going to throw some numbers in there, too. Let's throw a few in here. Oh, I just pressed the stat button. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then what did do? Just press enter for edit. Enter. Yep. yep, yep. Stat plot's actually a different animal. We'll get into him, too. He's, he's great. He's great. He gives us all the flies to stuff with graphs. We like those. Okay, so if you got numbers in your list, everybody, even if you don't, do this for practice. Do this for practice. Everybody, I put some numbers in L2. Get your cursor up on top of L2. Press the clear button, clear. And then either press the enter button or press down, and it'll wipe those numbers out. Is anybody missing L1, L2, or L3? Is there anybody just a gone? That, you can do that. It's pretty easy to do that. So if that ever happens, just grab it, put your head up and fix it. So now we got blank, we got blank lists. One more thing I'd like you to check. This makes life easier for us later. Press the Y equals button. How do you get the L2 back up? Oh, so you guys are missing it? So you're here, and I'm guessing yours looks kind of like this, John. You got L3, L1, L4. Yeah. So if this ever happens, I'll say it now, and we can always do it again. The chances are it'll happen at some point during this term. Stat button. Five for setup editor. Press enter, and it's back now. <laughs> TI, it's a bug. TI never fixed. It's for some reason you have to press clear. If you press delete, it takes the header away, but it doesn't actually delete it. It like hides it, like. Mm. <laughs> and then it's still there. The number, if you had numbers in it, they're still there, but you just can't see it. It's dumb. And it could, it, it causes all kinds of errors if you don't fix that. So, anyway. Go. Everybody, top left hand button on your TIs is the Y equals button. Go ahead and press that. Make sure that you've got nothing in your Y equals menu and make sure your <laughs> plots are turned off. When I say plots are turned off, make sure you don't see stuff like that. Highlighted plot one, plot two, or plot. Does anybody see highlighted plot ones? If you do, cursor on top and press enter, that toggles them off. We're going to be turning them on soon enough. I mean, for sure, that's great, but for right now, it just gets in the way. So you want no, nothing in the Y equals, no plots on, simple, simple. I like all this stuff, fantastic, but not right now, not right now. We're focus on one thing at a time. Good so far? Questions? Okay, back to, let's stop and start again.